Oh yeah, I know it's been a long time, man, but I'm back. I ain't went nowhere. You know, I tried to really be silver, man. I'm kind of back up. I'm putting so much pressure because a certain person, uh, Mr. Batman, had uh, kind of tried to falsely displace my ways, like as, as if he weren't a racist. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, a few things been coming to my mind, man, coming to, coming across the airways, you know what I mean? My, uh, my chicken hawk been flying over, uh, you know, dropping off me kites, man, about, about the, some of the things that you're doing, you know what I mean? And some of the things that you think that, uh, are smoke screen for you committing your, right, you committing your, uh, Illegal activities. I know people are not expecting it. they can always go back and watch it. But first of all, let me see, let me, let me make this disclaimer first. This uh this live is for entertainment purposes only. Uh do your own fact check as I have done mine and I have I reached as I have reached down and searched and dug and everything and tried to be a, a champion for the people. Uh, I wanna say that first is my disclaimer. Uh, another thing is uh I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sale with Sippy. I'll be full blast real soon, man, where I'll be going live from YouTube. So you're going to have to be a subscriber to see the video. The events that I'll post, post them uh, a few days later on uh, Facebook. But in the meantime, they're going to be live on YouTube. <clears throat> but back to you, uh, Batman and Parson. Let me, let, me, let me first address this. Let me, let me address this situation. You think... Um, at family day because you hold a couple of black babies that that doesn't make you a racist you think because you appoint a couple of people with to a high position that that doesn't make you a racist you know what I mean uh, when you intentionally send people of color to run down one of your employees at the gate and to shake him down when he's trying to get home and he got things that he has to do and leave him you know what I mean uh, you're not a highway patrolman man you should be, first of all you shouldn't be blocking the highway and if you got a problem with him, then you need to step to him and tell him man to man that you got a problem with him. That's the first thing. Um, another thing is, man, like I was just saying, you think just because you talk, you you talk to a couple of black families at family day that you're not a racist. You think because you pick up a couple of black babies, that's the same thing. Harry Truman, uh, John F. Kennedy, and all the other presidents back in Reconstruction used to do take black babies and pick them up to, to make the black community think that they were for them. You think just because you pointed two people, you gave them a higher position, that doesn't make you a racist? You're trying to get the heat up off you, man, when I actually had kind of backed up a little bit, you know, because the culture was changing a little bit, a few people, uh, you appointed the first, I would say, uh, when you appointed the deputy uh, superintendent, you know, who was black, Kudos to you, she deserved it. She should have been there a long time ago. Before Robin was there. That's the first thing because she put in the work and she, you know, she does all the hard work. For you anyway. She's pretty much doing the work. But another thing is, out of all the pictures, I seen a lot of white kids out there. I didn't see you talking to any of them. So it's just a publicity thing that you're doing just to make people think that you're like quote unquote not racist. And how, that's not your pawn to dictate who can fish in it. So how are you stopping the uh, your black staff from fishing out there when it says in policies that we have that if if you're an employee of the state anywhere in the state as long as you got your fishing license um, or 100 percent veteran that you have access other other officers from the state can come down and fish at their pond anytime they want it's in policy so you're violating policy by telling staff that they can't fish out there what you got going on out there other than the building that you don't have any money for that you're building that you're spending. Uh, thousands and thousands of dollars fixing that up for your quote unquote visitors and guests. So, is a visitor and guest more important than your staff that's already there? And we even get to the heat. I'm waiting to see what you respond to Miss Noel's uh, email about the conditions in the heat at Unit 29 and a couple of other units there. So, I want to see how you respond to that and how the state responds to that because I'll be sitting down with NBC again this week. You know, take, take note. Again, this week, just to see, uh, you know, what's going on and how you're handling the heat there. Uh, and then on another note, if you think this is not racist, then I want you to correct me and ask anybody else that's listening. I want them to ask themselves this. 
Just, we're going to forget about the dog, but I want to bring up this short parallel. You thought of the dog being more than some of your black staff when you gave them, when you gave them, uh, when you gave him the award. You know what I mean? And that same dog ended up biting the guy that was in the picture with him. You know what I mean? I don't know why he didn't stay off and take more time off. You know, the dog turned on him too, so I guess the dog races too, huh? When he tried to stop him from biting another, <laughs> a fellow, a fellow, uh, inmate or worker, whoever he was trying to stop him from biting him, he turned and bit him. You know what I mean? So that just shows you, man, if you know, one thing I learned about a snake, man, he was a snake when you took him in and you walked and you watched him. You know what I mean? So Batman, I would equip, I would, uh, to me, your characteristics show a snake. You just sly and, and cunning and you're waiting on your chance to bite whomever you can bite. Black or white. You know what I mean? And if you want to know where I'm getting my information to, or from, or, or however, first of all, that's none of your business. That's the first thing. The second thing is, I, if, 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 it's, if it has you looking and checking to see where I'm getting it from, that means that you, that means that there's some truth to it. Hmm. So, because if, okay, um, because if it wasn't true, then it would fly over your head and you wouldn't be worried about it. You would be spending time trying to fix the rules at 29. You'd be, finished, you'd be spending time trying to get that smell out of the hospital, man, and so and give them guys the recreation that we put in for the program that we wrote for the, the people who are pretty much who are dead 42, man. There is a psychologically imbalance or they're fighting for their life. You know what I mean? And so if they're at that hospital, man, they need recreation time too. You know what I mean? And so you should be spending time trying to do that. You should be spending time you should be spending time trying to find a way to get them guys cool at Unit 29 and to ease their tension. Guys have been dying all over the state, man, because of the heat at East Mississippi. Another guy died, another one went out day before yesterday, another one went out yesterday because of the heat, because of the 110, 114 degrees. Luckily, it was cool, man, because of the, the hurricane winds and stuff, but I think that uh, you need to be spending time worried about that, that and how you can continue to boost the morale of your, your staff as opposed to what I'm talking about. So evidently there's some truth to it when you feel like you need to fact check what I'm talking, you ain't gotta fact check it because you know it's already true. You know what I mean? Uh, like I was saying with the parallel, how do you think, how, tell me how you think that uh, it looks when you take 24 white guys to feed watermelon on the pool to 80% uh, black population, huh? When you ride them around and escort them with their pocket knives on their side, when you take 24, 24 white inmates to feed watermelons to uh, the, the inmate population, there are no black guys capable of wanting to tell me uh, uh, how that picture looks. When you got 24 inmates and you're riding them around and, and feeding the whole population on the 4th of July, not our holiday, not Juneteenth. Why are you even giving them any for Juneteenth? and let some black guys pass out something for June 10th. You know what I mean? But you get your good old boy crew that's got pocket knives uh, walking around cutting watermelon and feeding the inmate staff. I'm sure that there were plenty of willing field ministers black that would have loved to help you for an extra slice or an extra piece or anything like that, but they weren't worthy to be used by you. And how are you going to continually force staff to haul transportation staff to haul offenders without the cage? Like you know what I mean? Shopping, when the heat, when the heat had have Get guys temper flaring and a guy could jump out. You see what happened in Meridian when they was hauling some some inmates without the van, without the cage. You know what I mean? Yeah, a couple of them took over and escaped. You know, so you want that to happen there? What happened with the escape? Why that wasn't public news, even though he didn't make it off the grounds, but still you should have had the public aware that the guy had escaped and that you was trying to get them uh, get them some time. So if you have any questions, man, that you want to ask me, you know what I mean? Do like uh, do like everybody else did. Get my number. You can get my number and call me, but you still got it. See, that's one thing I know. You know, I checked it up the other day. You still have it, and I still have yours. So, you know, but I don't have to call you. You know what I mean? I don't need to call you. You know, when you post the lies about me, uh, you know, don't, don't poke the bear. You know what I mean? Don't poke the bear. But there's a lot of more things, man. There's a lot of more things. Just like Warren Connelly down there at SMCI, lost his job for having his hand in the cookie jar. 
Oh, your hand been in the cookie jar. Just look at it and watch the crumbs. You know what I mean? That money didn't mysterious didn't just up and walk away. That two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars was just uh, that two hundred and fifty thousand dollars didn't just up and walk away. The eighty-five thousand dollars didn't just magically disappear. Somebody has it. You know what I mean? Yeah, somebody has it. And so, if not, then the CEO of that institution is responsible. So where's the money? You know, then you want to get them. You gonna feed the people the business is cold hot dog. You could still sell food to the people coming in in the business, even if you wanted to stop feeding them. You know what I mean? Like you say, like people say, uh, everybody couldn't afford to buy that food. So you should have had some, some uh, econo meals for the people who can barely, you know, who can make it. You know what I mean? Who can barely, who can make commissary at least one time or something like that. You know, but you, you look at the trades and stuff that everybody's getting, uh, the foods that you're feeding them, uh, you know, uh, they're not even... Man, I would, they weren't fit for the dog that they passed away between the gates. You know what I mean? So when it's too hot, when it's so hot outside that a dog dies from a heat stroke, it's definitely too hot for guys who are impossible. Hey, baby, how you doing? I'm alive, so you can come right here. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all, man. I just want to just, just touch, touch base with that. Thank you, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so I just wanted to share it was something else, man, that um, that you put on my mind, man. Um, we're gonna get back to that. I'm gonna wait and just see how you respond to that. How you respond to that email. And then you got guys, man, that are that are uh, that are filing ARPs, man, and other staff should have access to to their ARPs, man. Put them under secure. On the secure watch because when it gets back on the compound and guys see why, what other inmates are filing about, why they're filing, it creates a tension, it creates a problem in and in 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 an area of conflict between the different groups and factions that you have existing in that community. And whether you know it or not, that is a community, man, no matter how you look at it. That's a community of people, that's a community of souls, that's a community of sons, that's a community of uh, brothers, that's a community of dads that are living out there. Whatever their crime, I'm not concerned with. You know what I mean? But the treatment while they're there, you know what I mean? That's my concern. That's my concern. And so I just think that uh, I just think that you need to focus more on that, man. But I'm going to get back with you, with you guys at five o'clock. You know what I mean? I just wanted to just touch bases and let Mr. Batman know that if you know, worry about the next ACA coming up. Oh. But you know you already passed that because it's already been pencil war. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? How can you not how can you not pass a health inspection, but you can pass ACA? You know what I'm saying? How can you pass ACA when you're taking food not in a, in, a, in, a, in a proper warm at the proper temperature from one unit to another unit, and you're trying to serve God? How can trays sit outside amongst the flies and the insects and the critters? for an hour or two before you feed the guys who are on lockdown. You know what I mean? How can you not give the guys their prescribed rec time, that G billing, H billing, J billing, well, <clears throat> half of J billing, because you're going to make sure that death row get what they need because they have high power attorneys fighting for them every day. So you're going to make sure that they got the proper fan. And how can you force a guy to buy a small fan when his family can't afford to send him a $25 or $29 to buy them little bitty fans? You know, a little bit of personal fan that they can't even transfer with them. What are you selling them to him for? If he bought it in 1990, he should still have it in 2000. You know what I'm saying? So, man, stop with the games, man. Stop with the game, Batman. And get out there and you know, walk out and talk to the guys and check the temperature of your own people. You know what I mean? What you too good? You can pick up a black baby, but you can't go out and talk to some black offenders out at the unit and see how they feel about the heat. You got your you got your baby goon squad squad with you. You know what I mean? You got your baby goon squad with you. I like to see it, for them to go ahead and do an audit on on you clocking in and out on your time. Because one thing I can say, uh, Superintendent Morris clocked in and out every day when he got there and when uh and when he left. You know, but it seems now that since you make the rules, uh, uh you don't have to clock in. You know, you're gonna still make your money. And you're going to still get your 20%, even though you took the officers 10%. You know, so stop playing games, man, at MDOC.
You know what I mean? Yeah, be a super, to be a CEO of the institution, stop worrying about what's going outside <clears throat> in these streets and what people are talking about. If you're taking care of your house, you don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so so take care of your house, man. And stay out of these folks' business out here. You know, because you can poke the battle one more time, but I'm going to show you. Uh, uh, what I know, six you can figure out uh, who's giving it to you. I guess, uh, a I guess, uh, David Warren McDonald, find out that uh, a snake will bite him. First chance to get him. You know what I mean? Because you were sent some people to go and check him about different allegations and stuff that's been going around. Yeah, talk to him and see. You know what I mean? But he'll see. You know what I mean? He think that, quote unquote, we good old boys with, uh, on his side, that he was just another N-word, you know what I mean? And the thought, in the fancy in your mind. Angel, he, yeah, he ain't your friend, and you ain't never had no dinner with him, other than that little power meeting that you put on for sure. You weren't having it before then, you know, before the heat is on, you know, the heat ain't on, not just the temperature, but the pressure gonna stay on, and it's gonna be turned up in just a minute, you know? But I see you guys, that's my tea time, man. I'm gonna rinse out my bag and put me some more hot water on it so I can get back with you tonight at five o'clock. Yeah. Tune in and stay strong, man. Too black. Sell with shipping. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video and make sure you share it. Because I'll be back. And so be ready for the drive at five and tea time with sipping. Yeah. Okay, Batman. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. How Robin doing?